you should be really concerned if you're a fan of the Dallas Cowboys going into this year, man, because there's a strong possibility that America's team could not be included in the postseason once this year comes to an end. I got some major red flags about Dallas going into this season. You got the brewing tensions between Mike McCarthy and Jerry Jones, which doesn't surprise anybody. Because when Mike McCarthy got hired, we all knew that he was only brought in to be Jerry Jones' puppet. And when he first arrived in the Big D, you know, he was forced to keep Kellen Moore. And then eventually he got rid of him. And the offense didn't really look too different from what we saw compared to Kellen Moore calling the plays, right? So you tried to scapegoat Kellen Moore and say he was the problem. You get rid of him and you still keep coming up short in the postseason. And it's understandable why both parties are frustrated. If you're Mike McCarthy, you're saying, hey, Jerry, like, why are you always bringing so much unnecessary attention? You got your owner doing media runs saying how, you know, they potentially could be doing some business with Bill Belichick down the road. But yeah, you still have Big Mike employed. But if you're Jerry Jones, you're looking at Big Mike McCarthy and you're saying, hey, bro, like, when are we ever going to be able to get over the hump? Our team is as talented as it's ever been but yet we still can't get no further than the second round of the postseason and i think this year is really going to start to magnify those tensions between mike mccarthy and jerry jones because there was some rumblings that maybe they could go after bill Belichick, and he definitely is going to be in the running for this job next season if things go left and plus you know, with Dallas losing so much talent in free agency, a lot of death pieces follow Dan Quinn to Washington. You got contract concerns with C.D. Lamb, Michael Parsons, and Dak Prescott. There's just a lot of distractions with Dallas more than usual around this time this year. We know that Dallas always makes headlines, but they have way too many things going on for me to believe that they're truly locked in. If you're going to be a playoff team, everybody has to be goal-oriented on the same thing. Everybody has to be one team, one goal, and it just doesn't seem like that going into this year for Dallas and they played eight playoff teams from last season. They weren't really that great against teams that had winning records. Now, they did beat the Detroit Lions and whatnot. And they did have a good game against the Philadelphia Eagles in between there. But I just don't trust Dallas anytime they have to play games that are in prime time against playoff caliber opponents. And with them facing against eight of them this year, I really think they're going to struggle and then once we get to the roster thing, well, the roster side of things, their run game could be really terrible this year. I mean, they don't have any good running backs on that squad. You brought, you brought back Ezekiel Elliott, which, you know, Zeke is really good in short yardage, goal line situations when you need to get somebody to punch the Brock in from close. But outside of that, Ezekiel Elliott is a shell of what he used to be. He's not explosive anymore. He doesn't have that same breakaway speed that he once used to have in his prime. Just bringing back Ezekiel Elliott showcases why this rushing attack is in huge trouble this year. Now, maybe Rico has a breakout year and we see more of Deuce Vaughn, but I just don't see it with this rushing attack this year. I think that Dallas run game is in serious trouble. Plus, their offensive line got worse. You lost Tyron Smith in free agency. Ty Tyler Biotis is gone as, as well. Now, I get that when it comes to losing Tyron Smith, you can't really call that a loss because the dude is injured nearly every single season. He hasn't played a full season since nine years ago. But their offensive line just overall doesn't look as great as what it has in previous years. Like for the last eight, six years or so, Dallas has always had a top 10 offensive line. They don't have that this year. They have a really questionable offensive line. You got questions at right tackle. We don't know how good this rookie offensive tackle that you drafted is going to be right out the gate. So offensively, 
with their offensive line being a question mark, not having any proven running backs on their team that look like they can give you serviceable play. I just don't see it with this offense this year. You're going to be able to throw the football, but you got to be able to play complimentary football. And we've seen what that Prescott does when you have to overly rely on him too much. Defensively, I think your defense is also going to regress. You replace Dan Quinn with Mike Zimmer. Mike Zimmer, when you just think of the name, you believe, oh, yeah, like you're tripping, JT. Our defense is still going to be good. We may have a small drop off from what we had and Dan Quinn calling the plays with Mike Zimmer. And that's a fair point. But when you look at Mike Zimmer's defenses in Minnesota, his last two years there, they ranked near the bottom of the NFL in every statistical category. They couldn't stop the pass. They couldn't get off the field in third down situations. They were bad against the run. I mean, there was really no positives about the Vikings defense their final two years under Coach Zimmer. And with you hiring him to be your play caller, replacing Dan Quinn, who did an outstanding job for you the last couple of years, that defense, despite the amount of talent that they have, they're going to be underutilized because it's not like Mike Zimmer never had talent in Minnesota on defense. The talent definitely was there. It's just that, you know, over time, how good of a mastermind he was on defense started to kind of, you know, decline over the years. And I just see Mike Zimmer as a coach who is good to have on your staff as an assistant or an analyst, maybe a consultant, but to ask him to call plays for you, I just think was a big mistake on Dallas' behalf because those defenses in Minnesota weren't looking good. Even when Dan Quinn, you know, got fired by Atlanta, his defenses weren't completely shit. You know, they weren't ranking in the bottom of every stat defensively, but you know, you look at Mike Zimmer on the other hand, and I got to say, man, I don't know about you, dog. I don't know about you. And overall, Dallas, to me, doesn't look like a playoff team. This is a team that has way too much going on internally. They got so many distractions. You got a defensive coordinator that's going to be a downgrade from you having the best defensive coordinator in the game the last couple of years. Your offensive line isn't going to be as good as what it used to be. You're going to have a really inconsistent rushing attack. You know, I just have too many red flags going into this year for Dallas for me to have faith that this is going to be a playoff team.